This ain't no zoom in. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Wheelhouse with Bobby Mills. Thank you for checking in. I made something and I want to share it with y'all. So, but you're looking at this and you're like, what on earth is this creature? <laughs> so, first, I'm going to talk about what this is, uh, why I made it, and how I made it. And then after that, I'm going to try to do some voiceover and go over some of the trials and uh, things that went wrong, etc. Um, let's roll with it. So... What is this? You might be asking. Well, this is a rig that I've developed um, to film uh, track races or anything on the track, Hot Wheels track. Uh, basically, just straight downhill drag style uh, racing. Um, it's made for a cell phone, so yes, zoom-ins can take a GoPro, which uh, probably works a lot better and a lot easier, but if you don't have a GoPro and all you have is your phone, then this. <laughs> so, the reason that I built this, sorry, <clears throat> the reason that I built this was because I was trying to work, do some follow work. And uh, I'll see if I can pipe some of that in later and show you the difference between using this and not using this. I was trying to do some follow work as, a t as opposed to just filming it uh, static and, you know, try to get up close, real, get the action, follow the cars. And I just cannot keep up with those cars. They go down that track so fast. So at first what I did was... I rigged this to a yardstick. This is basically one of those uh, bendable mounts you could wear on your neck or whatever. And I cut it, um, cut it off there. <coughs> so I had rigged it to a yardstick and just basically was trying to follow the race in a sweeping motion, just sweep right down the track, because I couldn't move my whole body fast enough to keep up with the cars. That was kind of working, but I'm like, I need to get right up there, right up close on the track. And I'm like, let's do this real movie style. You know, they have like those stunt cars with all the cameras rigged to them. Well, this is something like that. It's a team, the Volvo camera rig team. Um, so that's why I built this in order to capture some of that movement really up close. Um, so that's what it is. That's why I made it. And I'll talk about how I made it. Uh, so we'll just give you a close up look at, uh, what we're going on here. <clears throat> What's going on here. So everything here has a purpose. Um, pretty much everything here has a purpose. It looks like it, it looks insane. But I'll explain every piece of it. So first you have the cars. I needed to build something that was going to be able to hold the weight of the phone, but also be stable. I couldn't do it with one car. Couldn't do it with two cars. So I knew it had to be four. And what better than a team of four Volvo Estates? I felt like they were perfect for the job. They had a nice flat roof. Very stable, um, just great for the job. Uh, I designed these, um, whatever you want to call them. I designed them. <laughs> just uh, bit, bits and bobs from the internet. And uh, 
Now this here, this sign, descending counterweight, uh, yes, that is true. So if you want to use your imagination and talking about scale, this counterweight, this battery I use to counter the weight of the phone because when the phone is in the front, it tends to do this a little bit. It tends to tip a little bit. So I put the battery to balance it out. And I put a warning there because if you're standing here and the battery falls out, you're going to be flat. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, it's madness. Um, so, looking at the undercarriage, it's simply two pieces of foam board. It's, it, it was just a rudimentary build quickly. You know, obviously it can be done better. It's more of a, I like to consider it a prototype. Um, so I mounted, you know, did two rows of cars like that. And then um, kind of got them together this way. And this is just, um, this is just a front sign. It has a little bit of a purpose because sometimes it can stabilize the phone uh, onto it. I actually had to repair this for this only the second time tonight before I made this uh, video. I came home, uh, I let the boy play with it. I come home and this is off and this is off, which is it's to be expected. Uh, but this has already gone over 10 runs at the time of this uh, making this video. So it's, it's tested and true. Um, so the reason for the triangular shape is just for stability. I did not think this was going to hold. And it's holding just fine. This is all hot glue. Um, so I cut into the foam board right here just so that this could kind of just dig into that platform. And uh, the same back here. And these are um, ornament hooks <laughs> i use these to kind of brace this in case for some reason this started to if this started to peel off or come off of this that this would kind of brace it and keep it together so um yeah that's really pretty much everything uh it's gone through plenty of runs and it works it works um so without you know, I'm going to try to look at some footage, but right now I'll tell you that the biggest issue that I have now is really just filming stuff, trying to figure out what mode runs the smoothest, um, getting the lighting right. It's uh, it's very tricky. Um, if you're working with slow motion, then it's, you know, it's what it is. But if you try to do it at regular speed and slow it down in a different application then it, it, it's very well you'll see I'll, I'll explain all this in some of the footage one couple of things that went quote unquote wrong or that i would change is when i cut this uh this is basically a small wire that was coated in like a rubber you know like a coating in hindsight, I would not have cut it so flush. I would have kept plenty of it just so I could just shove it down into the foam board. And then that would have been that. Um, so that was my first mistake. Um, another issue that I'm coming across is when the rig is coming, it has to come to a smooth stop. If, you know, the boy's playing with it and it's coming, going over jumps or coming to some abrupt stop or hitting something. These areas are, these areas here are taking a toll um, because it's just, it doesn't take much for it to snap. It already has snapped on the other side. Uh, you can see this little mark right here. Um, so I had to reinforce that a little bit. Um, but other than that, it works pretty okay. Oh, another thing I would have done differently was have this a bit lower or at least adjustable so that I could get closer to the track. 
get really like bumper level, you know. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. We've been using it a lot. And, you know, right now I'm just trying, still working on just really camera stuff. Uh, nothing to do with the rig. The rig has been working fine. Um, of course, timing is also an issue. When you release the rig, as opposed to when you release the cars, you know, you got to have the timing right. Otherwise, the cars are right up on the front bumper and you can't even see them. So, um, it's just a little something different. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm quite proud of it. But then again, you know, it's, it's a prototype. I may try to improve on it. As time goes on, I might not. Um, if this inspires anybody else to make something like this, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Um, the patent is pending. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, that's that. This is the Volvo camera rig team. Um, if I start posting races or things like that, chances are you're going to see some footage come from this thing. So... I'm going to stop here and we're going to see if we can look at some of the footage that we got with this thing and explain some of that. All right.